I recently had the pleasure of visiting with Mark Bodie, the Executive Director of Corporate Real Estate Services for Clarion Health. Mark recently assumed responsibilities for all construction-related activities at Clarion, and we thought you would be interested in getting to know Mark and uh, a little bit about uh, the priorities for Clarion Health's construction-related activities. Well, first I want to congratulate you on your new, new uh, position and responsibilities. I understand by our earlier discussions that uh, Clarion has uh, restructured areas uh, that interface with the construction industry. Could you explain uh, those changes, uh, what they've been and what your responsibilities are now? Sure, be happy to. And I would consider it more of a, um, rather than a restructuring, consider it more of a, not so much a reorganization as a consolidation. The, there has always been an intimate uh, connection between design and construction and real estate at Clarion. And now simply those functions both report to me. The connection that we, that we used to have will remain and there's nothing physically wrong with our design and construction group that would say it had to be reorganized. In fact, quite the contrary. It's an excellent group of people doing excellent work and I expect it to continue that way. As far as what my duties are now, real estate consists of the planning for what future needs might be, the transaction then of that real estate activity, and then the improvements to those real estate holdings through design and construction, and then the ongoing management of our leasehold obligations. So those are the four buckets of work that fall under my control. Do you know whether the construction industry can expect to see any dramatically uh, new ways of doing business uh, in construction? Dramatically, uh, perhaps not. As I said earlier, I think you know, business as usual is the correct starting place for me. I'm not in this new role as a change agent trying to reshape things and do them radically different. To say that there's no change coming would imply that we're stagnant and no longer improving, so I say that's not correct either. There will be changes uh, as we look to um, perhaps more integrated deliveries, closer and closer relationships with our designers and our owners and our contractors working together as a, as a more integrated team. So I would say yes, change is, is constant, but no, there will be no major structural changes in how we, we do work with the industry. As you know, uh, Clarion has, has really embraced the concept of uniting with other construction consumers under the umbrella of both the Metro Indianapolis Coalition for Construction Safety as well as the Indiana Construction Roundtable. Do you an uh, anticipate that Clarion will continue to work with uh, other major construction consumers toward improving our industry? Oh, absolutely. The, I mean, the Clarion commitment to those organizations remains unchanged. That's broader and greater than, than any one person. So my role will be to really step into the role of Clarion in those organizations. And Clarion's commitment is unchanged. And I've already accepted a board of directors role with the ICR and look forward to uh, selected committee appointments as well within the, uh, within the mix organization. So Clarion is fully engaged and remains on board. What are your thoughts regarding Clarion's uh, future role in ICR's diversity initiative? I would say it's, it's more than an initiative. An initiative sounds like it's a, it's a new idea. Um, diversity is, is part of, of how we need to work. Um, it's, it's a diversity of ideas, a diversity of backgrounds, of experiences, of strengths. And that's what makes us stronger and allows us to learn from a, from a diversity concept. It, it is important here at Clarion, but it's more than just did I hire the right number of minority or women firms this year. It's about can we learn from that broader shared pool of knowledge that a diverse perspective yields. We know that as the recession deepened, Clarion had to pull back on their construction projects, uh, most particularly the Riley project. Can you project when you think that project will uh, begin to uh, ramp up? and whether we can expect to see future major building uh, projects uh, to sustain a growing Clarion? That's, that's challenging. Uh, if any of us had a crystal ball, we wouldn't be recovering now. We would have already seen our way through, through the recession. Yes, th there will be a return to a, a normal level of activity here. Exactly when remains to be seen. 
the economy combined with the capital market freeze that happened in the latter half of 08 certainly took its toll. Um, Clarion, like any other hospital system, relies on really the holy grail of, of strength financially, the day's cash on hand. That is the metric that all hospitals are graded by. And that's what gives us our investment grade credit rating that Clarion covets so much. That's, that's the fuel that allows us to do everything that we do. I've also seen our, our five-year capital plan. It's, it's full of very exciting projects at a, at a fairly healthy uh, capital appetite. So if that's going to come to fruition, why we need to be successful in, in reinforcing our day's cash on hand such that the cash can begin to flow out to capital projects again. Now, I know this is a very open question and may be difficult to answer, but I was wondering if you could let us know about factors that you value most as you evaluate contractors who want the opportunity to, uh, to work with Clarion. I guess in a word, I would say efficiency. Uh, so first and foremost, the engineer in me comes out and says time and money. That's everything on, on any contractual relationship. So efficient with your own resources so that you can be on time and, and on budget. That's the beginning. Uh, from there, I would say creativity and flexibility. I think as the industry continues to change, as we look at more and more design visualization tools, uh, that more and more integrated approach, contractors being brought on earlier and earlier in projects to do more than just value engineer or do a constructability review, but truly to be a part of the, of the project team from an early juncture. So more creativity, more flexibility.